ATI to five captains as they embark upon the 2017 season. Sam? Sam Alfronti, linebacker. Lou Garcia, defensive end. Derek Pacheco, defensive end. Brendan Hardy, offensive line. Blake Rice, quarterback. Can you tell us about the offensive line uh, so far uh, this season? you got a lot of returners. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of ex uh, experienced veterans on the field, and we also have a good mix of uh, some pretty talented young guys. So we should have a pretty good mix up front. Um, some guys anchoring the line, uh, just trying to open up some holes, uh, protect Blake over here, and uh, make sure he gets hit as so we'll least as possible. Uh, Derek, you've enjoyed a lot of success over your career, particularly last year. You've all kinds of good league player. Uh, talk about the challenge going into the new back and, and what the defensive line is. I'm not really worried about much of the challenge. I know we got a great coach and staff over here to get some prepared for you know, all the good teams we got in the conference. But I mean, uh, I'm pretty happy to say that we have the same same group of D line that we had last year. You know, we didn't have any guys leave us, but um, it's gonna be something special bringing bringing the same guys we had last year to the field and pulling like we used to. And like I said, we had Coach Holmes over there giving us all the new, like, giving us all the new techniques and stuff, just plugging away and hope we get a, a lot more pressure on the QB this year. Lou, you took a, an unprecedented route to uh, your fifth year here. Just uh, talk about what it means to be here, to, to be a captain, and to be able to contribute here on the third iron. Oh, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, I came and enjoyed these guys. I came a little late, but they accepted me, and it's great. We're working hard together every day, getting better every day, and working hard. Sam, WPI has a history of just great middle linebackers. Um, you were that next mold there. Just uh, talk about the the pressure that is, you know. Uh, playing with Brian and now replacing him, and just the, the defense a lot of times seems to be geared towards the middle linebacker. Talk about the excitement, the pressure. I wouldn't say it's much of a pressure. Brian's prepared, uh, prepared as well for us to take over. Uh, he's a great player, and uh, Coach Mullen and Coach uh, Rob have prepared all the linebackers well. And uh, it's just it's easy with the defensive line we have to make it uh, taking up two, three guys, and we're just clean flowing for the running back. Uh, Blake, uh, talk a little bit about the other quarterbacks, uh, some of the younger guys, Eric, those guys, and uh, so far, uh, what wide receivers are really looking to get? Um, so we just got Eric back recently. He was uh, on the IR for a little bit, but um, he's working hard. The young guys are trying to step up. Um, we don't have as many QBs as we normally do during camp, um, so we're all trying to grind away and you know, step up. Uh, and some of the standout wide receivers, definitely Mitch John Salaj, he's, he's working hard, he's getting after it. Um, and another would uh, definitely be Corey Cooper on the outside as well. Uh, talk a little bit about the, uh, the rest of the offensive line. Uh, you know, this, this is what your third year as a starter, and then and then Red Surge is the talk about the, the other guys are around. Yeah, so uh, we definitely have uh, to my left. We got Paul DeMarco. Uh, he's another three-year returner. Um, he's been playing next to me at the sophomore year. Uh, he worked really hard this offseason. Uh, to our left, we got Peter. Left back, we got Peter Kauskas. Uh, he's a, a sophomore coming back. He really worked. Hard in the offseason, he's ready to take over that left tackle role. Uh, right guard, we have Vince Luca, uh, another young guy uh, who played really well in a couple games last year. He really worked hard this offseason, and he's really ready to get after it. <coughs> and then at right tackle, we have Nick Day, a um, big, strong kid who's pretty mean, just trying to get after it. So I've got a pretty good collection of big guys up front. Um, but like I said before, with some experience, I'm just a pretty young talent. So, and I uh, get to protect Blake and, and also make holes. Uh, pretty talented running back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got Connor Field and Sean McCallum. Um, had great freshman years. Uh, so we're going to try to open up some holes for them. And uh, Connor Sackwich is here too. Uh, open up some holes with us. Hopefully, get some carries. So uh, I'm really excited. Um, interesting coming. Not many college football teams have two double digit sack guys returning. We do, I believe. Is that correct? You and Luca last year. Uh, with great is that a is that a friendly rivalry? Do you feed off each other? Do you make each other better by by uh, uh, by being on the oh, other yeah, side? Yeah, absolutely. There's always that competitive edge, you know. Always trying to one-step the other ones. That that's what you need in the football team. You need to compete with each other. You need to get better. That's the only way you're gonna, you know, win. That's and then who are some other guys that have uh, stood out so far on the defensive line? Um, I mean, right now we got coming back Nabil Kali. He's a uh, pretty pretty stout. He gained some pounds over the summer. A lot of strikes. He's uh, going to be holding up the nose real well for us. You know, eating up blocks. They have these linebackers come out free to you know, make the tackles. And, um, a couple sophomores, uh, or a freshman actually coming back. Uh, Joe Kirk Catch, all the Ashton boys. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, gaining weight over the summer and putting up numbers in the weight room. So I thought we could never ask for them. A very talented group of defensive backs. Seems to be a lot of versatile. Well, this guy can play corner and safety and, and this and that. Just 
Hey, talk about who's really stood out uh, so far. Who's really stood out so far, in my eyes, is Sam Casey. Casey breaks well on the ball, hits very hard, has a great nose for the ball, and is not afraid to go up and get it. So, uh, jump ball. Sam, what have you seen from your middle linebacker? I hope you've seen a lot. What have you yeah. seen? Uh, i just seen, uh, I mean, the outside linebacker, Blaine's played great so far. And uh, Nick Ostrowski, the mic right now, has been, as a sophomore, he's learned fast, and uh, he's going to be ready to go by game one. Great. And guys, any last thoughts? Any, uh, you know, you guys, your captains, this is your last year. Any, any thoughts here as you sit in camp here for the last time? Our goal is to win the game, to win a championship, so we're going to work as hard as we can to achieve that goal by the season. Couldn't set it better myself, you know, we're going to we're going to get the ring this year, so let's do it. Hey, you got it. They take their first step, although the non-conference game, but they get on the field first time Friday, September 1st against Anna Maria. Gentlemen, thank you and best of luck this season. Thank you.